first time on a Surface Duo or even an Android, hi and welcome. If you're new here, I welcome you. Hope we can earn your subscription. So maybe you've just picked up a Surface Duo 2 or a Surface Duo, and not only are you new to the Duo, but you're new to Android. And you don't understand some of the things about Microsoft Launcher. So, so this video was inspired by something I saw on the Duo Facebook group where an individual was having a hard time understanding how to put an app shortcut, we'll call it, onto his screen, onto the home screen. So what this video is going to do is I'm going to take you through the various steps. One how to make certain you're at your home screen. Two, how to navigate to your home screen. So we're going to cover those things. Then we're going to look at where apps are stored, all your applications, because it's slightly different than an iPhone. Uh, then I'll show you how to add it to the home screen. As a bonus, we'll show you how to add it to other screens. And then finally, we'll show you how to remove that shortcut, not uninstall, but remove that shortcut. So give it a watch. Now I know that I'm on my home screen, but do you know if you're on your home screen? And if not, how do you get to it? So this video is going to show you the different methods of determining which screen you're on and how to get your screens returned to the home screen by navigation. So right now I'm scrolling to the left to take my screens all the way out to the far right. We're next going to execute the home gesture. I do have a video on how to do this. However, quickly we are going to execute an up swipe that starts at the bottom of the app tray and then swipes into the app tray. The app tray is the bottom black bar where the application icons are. So you will see a dot appear. That is my touch area and watch where it goes. Let's look at another method of navigating to the home screen or any other screen and how to determine which screen you're currently on. I want you to press and hold the screen until you have this pop up. When in book mode, the two visible screens will be encased in the rectangle. You can slide back and forth to select the two screens that you would like to navigate to. And now I'll scroll left and right just to show you how you can go and select any two screens and we'll return back to home. I will select the home screen and you will see that we return to the two screens that we initially started with. I could have selected any other screen. There is one more method to find the home screen and that would be to swipe to the right until you cannot swipe any further and you will see the glance screen on the left and the home screen on the right. On the left is my glance screen, the right my home screen. I will now swipe one screen to the left and here I am. This is my home screen and my first extended screen. Next we're going to take a look at the app drawer. The app drawer on Android is where all applications are located. So to do this, we're going to do a swipe up gesture on your screen, and this will bring up the app drawer. My app drawer probably looks different from yours. We will go through the configuration of the app drawer. So I want you to look at the top, and you'll see the search bar, and to the right of that, you will see three vertical dots select those dots now. There is another way to make these settings and I cover that in a launcher settings video. A link in the description will be provided. The setting options that we have here are show recent apps, that's the first row. Group apps alphabetically, you'll see at the second row to the left an A 
each group of apps starting with the first letter in their name will be grouped together. The next one is scroll apps alphabetically. That's the vertical line that you see to the right. And finally, there's an add widgets to home screen. We're not going to cover that here. The first thing we will do here is turn on and off the show recent apps. And you can see that row disappears when it's turned off. The next option is group apps alphabetically. Starting at the second row, you will see the letter A to the very far left. That's an indication that the apps following that all begin with the letter A. The next group will be a B, a C, a D, and so on. Via the slider, you can turn off and back on the group apps alphabetically. So when I turn it off, you'll see the A disappear and the apps are just continuous from A to pound number. Let's take a look at how the grouping looks. I'm going to scroll down and let you see the various groups of applications, A, B, C, D, etc. On the right, you see a vertical line starting at A ending with the pound sign, which are numbers. Here's an example of scrolling apps alphabetically. I touched the V and I went down to the V apps. Let's add the Facebook application to the home screen. We first must go to the app drawer. To do that, we will swipe up on the screen. I am going to use the scroll apps alphabetically and touch the F over on the right hand side to go to the F group of applications. Next, I'll touch and hold the Facebook application until this dialog pops up. The very first option is add to home. I'll touch that and this will place the app icon on my home screen. What if you want the application on the right hand screen? Well, let's do that. We need the app drawer open, so we'll touch and swipe up. I will use the scroll alphabetically function, touch the F to take me to the F grouping of applications. I touched G, let me scroll down to get to F. This time I will touch and hold the Facebook application and then drag to the right hand screen releasing where I would like to place it on the screen. You're not limited to these two screens. I'm going to put the Facebook application on my very last screen. So I'll scroll all the way to my right hand screen. Same procedure. Bring up the app drawer. Go to the F group of applications, touch and drag. If you want to remove an icon from a screen or a shortcut, you touch and hold, pop up, select remove, and this will remove it from the screen. It does not uninstall it. So I'm going to remove all these others and I'm back to normal. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, thumbs up, give it a like, share it around, comment, tell me, are there other little things you'd like to know about? So comments are important. They kind of help me understand what further content I might need to make. Those shares and likes are very good for the algorithm of having it displayed to others so they'll see it. Of course, subscription. Subscribe because there's other content. There'll be more content. Last, most important, thanks for watching.